Father, we thank you in Jesus' name. We thank you. If you have a thousand miles, God is not to praise me. If all our body is full of air, full of mouth, it's not enough to praise him for what he has done. This is our month of divine lifting. And we will be lifted in the mighty name of Jesus. Above every other power in Jesus' name. Above principality in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every home will, will receive lifting this month in the mighty name of Jesus. Every man, every woman will receive lifting in the mighty name of Jesus. Because it's not by power in Jesus' name. It's not by might in Jesus' name. But by the spirit of the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. And that will lead me to Psalm 33, verse 16. He said, there is no king save by the multitude of an host. Or a mighty man is not delivered by much strength. Because this is our motto of, of divine lifting. Amen. It's not by our own power in Jesus' name. Amen. It's not by the strength of any mind that mighty name of Jesus. Amen. But by the strength of the Lord in Jesus' name. Amen. Because he's going to strengthen all this, this we want in the mighty name of Jesus. He's going to strengthen us in the mighty name of Jesus. It's not by our own power in the mighty name of Jesus. It is what the Lord has declared, it's what the Lord has said to. And by the God's of grace, we will receive it in the mighty name of Jesus. We will receive it in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, brethren, let's say, let the strength of the Lord come upon us this month in Jesus. Let the strength of the Lord come upon us in the mighty name of Jesus. Because it's by his strength in the mighty name of Jesus. There's nothing too difficult for him in the mighty name of Jesus. Nothing, nothing is too difficult for him in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord this month in Jesus' name. We will receive his strength in Jesus' name. He will strengthen us in the mighty name of Jesus. Because we did not trust on chariots in Jesus' name. We did not trust on horses in the mighty name of Jesus. But upon the power of the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus. By the power of the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. We receive the strength in Jesus' name. We receive the strength in Jesus' name. We receive the strength in Jesus' name. The strength of the next level in Jesus' name. The strength of the next level in the mighty name of Jesus. The strength of the next level in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. The strength of the next level in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Fresh power in Jesus' name. Fresh anointing in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Verse 17 say, he said, An horse is a vain thing for safety. Neither shall he deliver any by his, by, by his great strength. Because many people in the world, they think they have power. They think they have, they have, they, they, they have all the power. But the Bible is telling us today that there's no power anywhere except the power of the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus. Except the power of the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus. And we receive that power tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. We receive that power in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Verse 18 says, says Behold, the eye of the Lord is upon them that fear him. Upon them that, that hope in his mercy. Because the mercy of the Lord will answer for us in the mighty name. The mercy of the Lord will answer for us in the mighty name of Jesus. The mercy that will trace us to the next level in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Verse 9 says, To deliver their soul from death and to keep them alive in famine. Because this month we will not receive bad news in Jesus. Name. We will not bury anybody in the mighty name of Jesus. Nobody will be sick in Zion in the mighty name of Jesus. Because we are, going, we are going forward in Jesus' name. We are going up in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. He said, our, our, our soul waited for the Lord. He is our help and our shield. Because this month, we are not looking for the help of a man in Jesus' name. 
We are not looking for the help of a king in the mighty name of Jesus. We are not looking for the help of the president in Jesus' name, but the help of the Lord in Jesus' name, in the mighty name of Jesus. Because he is our shield in the mighty name of Jesus. He is our fortress in the mighty name of Jesus. In time of need in the mighty name of Jesus. Verse 21 says, For our hearts shall rejoice in him, because we have trusted, trusted in the holy name. Because we will rejoice this month in Jesus' name. Joy is our portion in the mighty name of Jesus. Joy is our portion in the mighty name of Jesus. Because we trust her in his name in Jesus' name. We trust her in the name in his name in Jesus' name. The name that is above every other name in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Verse 20 says, Let thy mercy, O Lord, be upon us according as we hope in thee. Let his mercy be upon us in Jesus' name. The mercy of the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's turn into prayer in that, that, that this month in Jesus' name. His mercy will be upon us in Jesus' name. That his mercy will be upon us in the mighty name of Jesus. His mercy will be upon us in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus. Upon every woman in Jesus' name. Upon every man in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Our youth in the mighty name of Jesus. All our children upon this mountain in Jesus' name. His mercy will be upon them in Jesus' name. Upon our pregnant women in the mighty name of Jesus. His mercy will be upon them in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. I'm going to read uh, Psalm 97. I'll read verse 10. He said, He that love the Lord hate evil. He preserved the soul of his sin. He delivered them out of the hand of the wicked. Because this month is going to preserve our soul in Jesus' name. And he's going to deliver us in the mighty name of Jesus. From the hands of the wicked in the mighty name of Jesus. From the hand of the one that is stronger than us in the mighty name of Jesus. That this month in the mighty name of Jesus, deliverance has come unto this mountain in Jesus' name. The deliverer has come unto every home in the mighty name of Jesus. The deliverer has come unto every man in Jesus' name. Unto every woman in the mighty name of Jesus. Unto every children in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord in the name of Jesus, you will preserve our love in Jesus' name. When we go out, you will preserve us in Jesus' name. When we come in, you will preserve us in the mighty name of Jesus. That, that not, nothing shall be missing, nothing shall be broken in our life in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. He said, in 11, he said, light is sown for the righteous and gladness for the upright in heart. Because gladness is our portion in Jesus' name. We are children of light in the mighty name of Jesus. And where there is light, there is no darkness in the mighty name of Jesus. Because he has transformed us from, the, from, from darkness to light in the mighty name of Jesus. And when we are in light, darkness has no power upon us in the mighty name of Jesus. That this month in the mighty name of Jesus, every darkness shall be lightened in the mighty name of Jesus. Every darkness shall be lightened in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Everything that looks like darkness in Jesus' name, light of the Lord will shine upon them in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Verse 12 says, Rejoice in the Lord, ye righteous, and give thanks at the re remembrance of his holy name. Because when we remember his name, it shall be for goodness in Jesus' name. It shall be for holiness in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Let's commit the rest of serving to the hands of the Lord in Jesus' name. The Lord as we continue, continue with us in Jesus' name. Your power will be mighty in our midst tonight in Jesus' name. That Lord, as we will not go back the same way we come in the mighty name of Jesus. That as we have come for tonight in the mighty name of Jesus, 
It shall be a night of remembrance in the mighty name of Jesus. It shall be a night of remembrance in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen.
Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Yes, Lord, it will be praised. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I say, Blessed be the name of the Lord. Bless the name of the one that is blessed. We bless your holy name, Lord Father. We worship you. Let's worship him. Let's adore him. Give thanks to his holy name. Thank you for being the I am that I am. The lady of the valley, the one who has made us to be who we are. And without any option. That we reflect his holy name. That we reflect his glory. It will reflect his honor. He said he made us to be after his likeness. Father, we thank you for making us to be human beings. Even though we have disappointed you on several occasions, but you said you have planted your nature in us, your righteousness in us, so that whatever we do here on earth will be confirmed in heaven. Holy Spirit, we thank you for the opportunity of divine lifting, for bringing us to your sanctuary at the right time, for increasing our energy in you, Despite the hopelessness of the world, thank you for bringing hope to us. Father, we worship you. We praise your holy name. Father, we, we, we praise you. For this month of divine lifting, divine lifting, a lifting that is consistent in the hope that will never fail, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you. Let's celebrate our father. Let's celebrate him. If he's your father, you will celebrate him. Uh, speak to him in whatever language you want. Speak to him in whatever way, in a manner. Just praise his holy name. Remember to praise his holy name. Remember that without him, you are nobody. He will have made you to become a rock, to become a pebble stone, to become one of the waves in the ocean. But he decided to make you after his likeness. And he said, on this month of divine lifting, that is here to answer your prayer. Say, Father, I just want to thank you. I praise your holy name. I praise you. The Lord who does wonders, we thank you. Who does wonders with his children. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. It's wonderful and marvelous to praise our God. I say it's wonderful and marvelous to praise our God. It's wonderful and marvelous to praise our God. Because he is God and there's no other one. No other one beside him. No other one beside him. We praise his only man. He's the one that can make us to become a spectacle unto the one of this world. He said he makes us to be the sinner of all eyes and the apple of his eyes. When you are God's apple of God's eyes, it means you are untouchable. You remain untouchable in the name of Jesus. I say you remain untouchable in the name of Jesus. For man, you, when he says that you are the sinner of all eyes, it means the whole world will behold the glory of God in your life. I said in this month of divine lifting, 
the whole world will behold the glory of God in your life in the name of Jesus. You become the evidence of his grace in the name of Jesus. I say you become evidence of his grace in the name of Jesus. Word will, the, Lord, the world will not mock the Lord of your life. I say the world will not mock the Lord of your life because he is God indeed. You follow me to the book of Daniel chapter 3. It's deliberate for me to read the book of Daniel because I'm Daniel too. Hallelujah. Are you Daniel? I'm Daniel. You know, the courageous one. The Lord will increase your courage in him in Jesus' name. I say your courage in him, you will not fail in the mighty name of Jesus. Everything that makes people to fail, God will decorate you like he has done to the Daniel of old in the name of Jesus. Daniel chapter 3, we are going to consider chapter 3. Something very fundamental there that excited my interest as I was entering the, the tabernacle this afternoon, um, this evening. The story is told of uh, the three Hebrew boys. Three Hebrew boys. Who are they? Sedrach, Mezak, and who? And Abednego. Thank you very much for being there for God. God will be there for you in the mighty name of Jesus. I just select some verses there and then we begin to pray. Verse 12. It says, Daniel chapter 3, verse, beginning from verse, verse 12. It said, there are certain Jews with whom thou art set over the affairs of the province of Babylon, Sedrach, Mesach, and Abednego. These men, O king, have not regarded thee. O king, these men have not regarded thee. They serve not thy God, nor worship the golden image on which thou art set up. The one who God is going to live will not serve other God. I said, no matter the circumstances, no matter the situation, you will not be forced to serve other God in the name of Jesus. Whatever is the situation of your life, you will not be forced to serve other God in the name of Jesus. What is important is not that they are not forced to serve other God, but because they have what we call unquestionable obedience, uncompromising obedience. When you have unquestionable obedience, when you have uncompromising obedience, you are the, one of the Hebrew boys. And the Lord will promote you in the name of Jesus. I say, my God will promote you in the name of Jesus. He will increase your joy in the name of Jesus. He will increase your courage to stand in the end in the name of Jesus. My God will lift you up as you are lifted. Sedrach, Meshach, and Abednego in the name of Jesus. He said, then Nebuchadnezzar in his rage, chapter verse 13 now, Nebuchadnezzar the king in his rage, in his fury, in his anger, commanded them to bring Sedrach, Meshach, and Abednego, and they brought these men before the king. When they bring you before the king of the world, the king, everlasting king, will show forth in the name of Jesus. I say everlasting king will show forth for you in the name of Jesus. Verse 14. Nebuchadnezzar spake and said unto them, Is it true, O Sedrach, Meshach, and Abednego, that you do not serve my God, nor worship the golden image which I have set up? When you are faced with the critical question, God will supply you the critical answer in the name of Jesus. I said the critical answer for you to answer your, for your divine lifting. You will not be found wanting of it in the name of Jesus. The repository of knowledge that will make you to fulfill divine agenda for divine uplifting becomes yours now in the name of Jesus. It says, verse 15 now, we're going somewhere. It says, now, if ye be ready, that at what time ye hear the sound of the comet, comet flute, harp, sack, bot, sultry, and dulcimer, and all kinds of music, all kinds of music, you will not dance to all kinds of music in the name of Jesus. I say in your month of divine lifting, you will not dance to all kinds of music in the name of Jesus. You will hear clearly from heaven in the name of Jesus. The manner of your divine lifting will be revealed unto you by divine understanding in the name of Jesus. He says, and all kinds of music, ye fall down, that you must fall down and worship the image which I have made. Well, but if ye worship not, ye shall be cast the same hour into the midst of a burning fiery furnace. Into the midst of what? A burning fiery furnace. Not just a burning furnace, a fiery one. That's the hottest part of any, any furnace. 
And who is that God that shall deliver you out of my hands? Those situations that is confronting you and say, who is the, that God who will lift you up from his hand today? We confront them with the, with the word of God in the name of Jesus. Your divine uplifting will be with that faith and with that question in the name of Jesus. In the order of Sedrach, Meshach, and Abednego, you receive your divine lifting in the name of Jesus. So shall it be in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Say, who shall be that your God who will deliver you out of my hands? Verse 16. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered and said to the king, O Nebuchadnezzar, let somebody say, O king Nebuchadnezzar, O king Nebuchadnezzar, O king Nebuchadnezzar, we are not careful to answer thee in this matter. It means we have no doubt in our mind to answer you in this matter. Your clarity of mind will not be taken away by the enemy in the name of Jesus. On your day of divine lifting, on your day of divine packaging, you will not be missing out of the correct word in the name of Jesus. Whatever situation you face in this world, the Lord will supply you with right language and right word in the name of Jesus. You will be fully prepared. I say you will be fully prepared. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Here are the Hebrew boys. He says, verse 17, If it be so, our God, whom we serve, is able to deliver us. Unquestionable faith, unquestionable obedience, unquestionable assurance. Our God we serve is able to deliver us from the burning fury furnace. And he will deliver us out of thy hand, O king. God will deliver you out of the king of the world that is ruling your life in the name of Jesus. Every king of this world that is the, the, the planning to rule your life. Maybe it's time agenda. Maybe it's unfaithfulness. Maybe it's whatever. I say you will be delivered in the name of Jesus. But. Let somebody say but. That's verse 18. But if not, be it known to thee, O king, that we will not serve thy God, nor worship the golden image which thou hast set up. Unquestionable obedience. Unquestionable obedience will be our portion in the name of Jesus. For us to lead to the expectation of divine limitation, you will have unquestionable with that. God will make that your portion in the name of Jesus. In this month of divine lifting, your divine lifting will be without doubt in the name of Jesus. Verse 19. Then was Nebuchadnezzar full of fury, and the form of his visage was changed against Sedrach, Mesach, and Abednego. Therefore he spoke and commanded that they should eat the furnace one seven times more than it was one to be eaten. Right. Verse 20. And he commanded the most mighty men. The king was with fury. He commanded the mighty men to throw them. He said that were in his army to bind sacred Meshach and Abednego. That means they were to be cast, you know, in a way in which they would not be able to struggle when they get into the fury furnace. They should be roasted, you know, at once to bind Sedrach, Meshach, and Abednego, and cast them into the burning fury furnace. Then these men were born in their coats, their hosing, and their hats, and, the, and their other garments, and they were cast into the midst of the burning furnace. Now look at this. Therefore, because the king's commandment was urgent, and the furnace exceeding hot, the flame of the fire slew those men that took the Cedric, Mesach, and Abednego, those who carried the king order, the worldly order, against your divine of listening, the flame of the fury that they set up will consume them in the name of Jesus. And the three men, Cedric, Mesach, and Abednego, fell down, fell down, burned into the midst of the burning fury furnace. But somebody was already there. Somebody was already there. Somebody will be there for you where your divine lifting is, is planted in the name of Jesus. I said the Lord Jesus Christ will be there for you at the point of your divine lifting in the name of Jesus. He says, Then Nebuchadnezzar the king was astonished and rose up in haste and spake unto his counselors, Did we not cast three born men into the midst of the fire? They answered and said unto the king, True, O king. Then 
he answered and said, Lo, I see four men loose, walking in the means of the fire, and they have no hurt. Nothing that is planted of this world for your divine religion will hurt you in the name of Jesus. And the form of the first is like the Son of God. The world would, when God lifts you up, when God packages you for success, when God takes you to your next destination, even the king of this world will recognize it in the name of Jesus. And they will acknowledge the God that you serve in the name of Jesus. I said, the God of this mountain will be recognized in the name of Jesus. He says, Then Nebuchadnezzar came near to the mouth of the burning furnace and spoke and said, Cedric, Mesak, and Abednego, ye servant of the Most High, ye servant of the Most High, you see the, the evidence of a questionable obedience, come forth and did that. Then Sadrach, Mesak, and Abednego came forth of the midst of the fire. You will come out of every situation. In the name of Jesus, every situation militating against your divine lifting, you will come out of them in the name of Jesus. I say by the ordinance of God, who will never fail, in the order of Sadrach, Mesach, and Abednego, you will come out of them on heart in the name of Jesus. And the princes, the governors, the captains, and the king counselors, being gathered together, saw this man upon whose body the fire had no power. Nor was an hair of their head sing. Neither were their clothes coat changed, nor the smell of fire had passed on them. Then Nebuchadnezzar spake, Blessed be the God of Sadrach, Mesach, and Abednego. Your, the, the king of this world will bless the name of your God in the name of Jesus. That was why we sat down and said, Blessed be the name of the Lord. Then I jumped to the last, the last part. That was verse 30, the last verse of that chapter 3 of Daniel. 30. He says, then the king, the king had no option but to collaborate and cooperate with the God of heaven. Then the king promoted Sadrach, Mesach, and Abednego in the province of Babylon. Let me understand it now. Begin to speak in the spirit. Dive into the spirit and begin to ask God in the order of Sadrach, Mesach, and Abednego, I receive power for unquestionable, uncompromising obedience. In the name of Jesus, it was uncompromising and unquestionable obedience that brought divine lifting, divine packaging for Sadrach, Mesach, and Abednego. Say, Oh Lord, in this month of divine lifting, I receive power for uncompromising and unquestionable obedience to the ordinances of God. In the name of Jesus, every area where God is requesting my obedience, I receive power for unquestionable obedience. In the name of Jesus, pray, pray. Unquestionable obedience in the name of Jesus, so that you can attain your divine lifting, so that your divine lifting will not disappear, your divine lifting will not will not delay in the name of Jesus. Unquestionable obedience, uncompromising obedience in the name of Jesus. I receive the power. Unquestionable every area where God requires my, my attention, every area where I needed to give what is due to God. Unquestionable obedience, unquestionable obedience in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. No matter how the weather is cold or whatever, if there's a promise for people to come and take just $100 each, this church will be fuller than this. $100, I, I will not say $1,000. $1,000 is, is a lot of money. $100, just come around, take the $100, and then move in and praise God. This place will be, people will spend $90 to come and take the $100. So, we will pray again, say, Father, the power for unquestionable obedience. When you have power for unquestionable obedience, you are not going to consider what is there because you know at the end of the game, God is already there. The, your divine ability is already set to. You'll be able to face the one and say, even if our God decides not to lift, because he, although he will lift, I am going to obey him all the way. Power for unquestionable obedience. In the name of Jesus, in this month of divine lifting, Power for unquestionable obedience. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I receive it. I receive it. I receive it. I receive it. A question of obedience that will confirm the king of this world. That will confirm the men of this world. That will make people to, to, to worship the God that I serve. That will make people to serve the God that I worship. I receive it now. I receive it now. I receive it now. I receive it now. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Two more prayer requests. One is 
power for divine preservation. You know, if you are not, he said, if, you are, if the radio is not preserved, the day of manifestation is already uh, history. Power of divine preservation for divine upliftment. Let it be my portion. In that my, for every member of Faith Triumph Ministry, power of divine preservation. It was preservation that made them to be thrown in the funeral furnace and they were not born. Pre divine preservation in the name of Jesus. In this month of February, I received power for divine preservation from every form of attack, every form of accident, every form of ill wind. In the name of Jesus. Divine preservation. Divine preservation. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. The last prayer point that the, the plan of God for divine uplifting will be confirmed by men and women of this world. That will be my portion. That will be your portion. In the name of Jesus, pray. Say, Father, let your agenda be confirmed by the men and women of this world. They will, like King Nebuchadnezzar, they would, they will, in their own, align with the agenda of God for divine uplifting in my life and in my ministry. In the name of Jesus, let the world align with the agenda of God for divine uplifting. For divine uplifting. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Hallelujah. Praise be the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Amen. Amen. Take time to worship the Lord. I want us to just wave our hands unto the Holy Ghost. I want us all to give him the glory and give him the adoration. I want us to praise him. I want us to call on to his name. Take this time to give him the glory. Take this time to give him the honor. Take this time to give him the adoration. For he's the King of Kings and he's the Lord of Lords. We're going to take this time to worship him. Just call on to his holy name. Just praise him. Just bless him. For he's the unchangeable God. He's done everything for, all, for us. Just give him the glory, give him the honor. Lord, I come to you. Let my heart be changed. Renew, flowing from the grace that I found in you. Lord, I've come to know the weaknesses I see. In me, stripped away. By the power of your love, and hold me close. Let your
the knowledge of your love as you live in me. Lord, renew my mind as your will unfold.
your voice and just begin to wash the nipples or just offer him the sacrifice of praise. Offer him the sacrifice of praise. Lift your voice. Lift your voice. Lift your voice. Lift your voice. Come and open your mouth and just magnify. Magnify his name. We cannot worship him enough. So just give him the praise that he deserves. Lord, we worship your name, O oh Lord. We give you praise. Jehovah, you are the most high. Let's just bring our feet, bring on our feet. I'm just going to read a few scriptures. I just want us at this time, session of prayer, I, I just want us to first of all do a um, process of rededication of our lives. I'm just going to read from the scripture, a very simple scripture in John chapter 14, verse, verses 15. It said, if you love me, keep my commandments. And that's in verse 24. He said, He that loveth me not, keepeth not my sins, and the word which ye hear is not mine, but the Father's which sent me. My verse to be on verse 15. He said, If you love me, keep my commandments. Keep my commandments. If you love me, keep my commandments. We're in the month of, um, it's a month of um, divine upliftment. And if there's one thing that I know that can hinder us from getting to our divine upliftment is when we don't follow the precepts of God, if we, don't, if we don't follow what is written in God's word. God's word still remains the ultimate. That's where his promises lie. So if we don't love the person that gave us the word, that gave us the promises, then we cannot access our divine uplifting. So I want us to at this time lift up our voice that Lord, this month, in this month, of uh, my divine uplift me that you will help me to keep your precept you will help me to live according to your word open your mouth and begin to pray that your love for him will grow your, your love for him will grow on a daily basis he, your love for the Lord will grow we grow in a, on a daily basis you will not grow weary 
lift up your voice, lift up your voice. This, and this is a very important. We can come here and decree all we can decree, but the word of the Lord still remains sure. God's promises, yes, they are here and amen, but there are always conditions for you to access what God has promised unto you. And this is one. He said, if you love me, keep my commandments. The commandments of God is not just the Ten commandments that he gave to Moses. They are commandments that they are, they are instructions he has given for us to live Yes, those things that he has promised. I want to add on to God that this year you will not live outside his word, that you will live within his word. You, that he will help you, first of all, to love him on a daily basis. That you, you, There's nothing you will do this year that you will do without him, that you will do without yourself. Open your mouth and begin to pray. In the name of Jesus. That your word will always be, his word will always be in your, in your heart. His word will always be in your heart. His word will be written on the tablets of your heart. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Ezekiel chapter 11, verse 19, he said, And I will give them one heart, and I will put a new spirit within you. And I will take the stony heart out of their, out of their flesh, and I will give them an heart of flesh, that they may walk in my statutes and keep my ordinances and do them. And they shall be my people, and I will be their God. That's the promise of God to us today. But only if, only if, only if, only if, he said, that they may walk in my statue. So God expects us, God expects us to not to live outside of his word. He expects us to walk first in his statues, keep his ordinances, and do them daily. And he then will not be his, his people, which is you and I, and he will be our God. So lift up your voice and say, Lord, help me. Lord, help me to keep your statutes. Lord, help me to keep your ordinances. That if I will enjoy divine upliftment this month, that you will help me to keep your statutes so that I will not be deserted. I will not be deserted. I will not be deserted. Because I want him to be my God and I want to be his own. I want, him, I want to be his own and I want him to be my God. So, Lord Jesus, help me to keep your statutes. Help me to keep your ordinances in the name of Jesus. Lord, help me. Lord, help me. In the name of Jesus. Help me, Lord. Lord, help me, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. That I will be obedient every day to you in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I acknowledge that I can do nothing, 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 nothing. Lord Jesus, your word, your word is, your, 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 everything that you have promised is within your word. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. That verse 21 it says, But as for them whose heart walketh after the heart of their detestable things and their abominations, I will recompense their way upon their own heads, said the Lord God. So we can be hindrances to God's promises. If we decide not to walk in this statue that He has given to us, we can be, we can be a, the hindrances. To, so, Lord, so cry unto God that I will not be a hindrance to my own upliftment. Lift up your voice and pray. I will not be a hindrance to my upliftment this month. I will not be a hindrance. I will not be a hindrance to myself. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. That I will not be a blockade. I will not be a blockade. 
lift up your voice, lift up your voice. This is, it's a very important prayer point you are praying. Because you can be praying, no, oh, any enemy, any man, you can be a, an enemy against yourself. You can be your own enemy and you wouldn't know. That you will not be an enemy to your own destiny. You will not be an enemy to your own fulfillment of your blessings. Open your mouth and pray. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, Father, we thank you, Lord, we decree in the name of Jesus that in this month we will follow your statute, in the name of Jesus. Give us grace, O Lord, my God, pour out your spirit upon us, Lord, that we will love you unconditionally. In your house, O Lord Jesus, we will serve you unconditionally, Lord Jesus, that we will not be hindrances to our own blessings, in the name of Jesus. We decree, yes, divine upliftment in every area of our life in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for in Jesus' name we are free. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. For we are grateful, oh Lord. We are grateful, Lord. We are grateful, oh Lord, for all you have done for us. Hallelujah. We are Jehovah, raise your name. 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 Jehovah, raise your name.
Jehovah is your name. Jehovah is your name. Jehovah is your name. Jehovah is your name. Oh, mighty warrior, great in battle. Jehovah is your name. Jehovah is your name. Many people believe that. Hallelujah. And I pray that God of heaven will answer our prayers in Jesus' name. Let's go quickly to the book of 1 Samuel, chapter 1. We are going to pray throughout in this section. So if you are tired, I want you to walk around because I will not want you to sit down so that you won't sleep. This is time to pray. 1 Samuel chapter 1 from verse 9 says once when they had finished eating and drinking in Shiloh Hannah stood up now Eli the priest was sitting on his chair by the doorpost of the lost house in a deep anguish Hannah prayed to the Lord weeping bitterly and she made a vow saying Lord Almighty if you only look on your servant mistress and remember me and not forget your servant, but give her a son, then I will give him to the Lord for all the days of his life and no razor will ever be used on his edge. Praise the name of the Lord. That, is, that was Hannah when she has finished eating. She used to go to Shiloh every year. Like you and I come to this prayer night every month. But this day, she decided to go and pray individually unto the Lord. The Lord, if you will have mercy on me. And she made a vow unto the King of glory. And in that, verse, in that chapter 2, Hannah came back with Samuel to give God the glory. Hallelujah. So this I want to encourage us this night to pray, to pour our hearts unto the King of glory in this prayer. Because in that chapter 2 from verse 1, Hannah prayed and said, 
my heart rejoiced in the Lord. The Lord, in the Lord, my horn is lifted high. My mouth boasts over my enemies. And for I delight in your deliverance. We are going to call upon the name of the Lord. Daddy, I've been coming every month. I've been coming to the night of trial. Father Lord, I pour my heart unto you. And I need you to really pour your heart unto the King of glory tonight. What it is that bothered your mind? What is this that bothered your heart? What it is that gives you sleepless night? That any time you remember, you shake to your feet that what will become of me? I want you to call upon the name of the Lord this hour. I want you to cry unto the Lord. When Anna was crying unto the Lord, like the one that was actually drunk, that Eli has to say, woman, you get drunk and you are doing this. I don't want you to whisper. I want you to cry unto the king of glory. I want you to pour your heart's desire unto the Lord tonight. I want you to be sincere with your destiny. I want you to be, this, to be sincere with the purpose of God in your life. This is not where you're supposed to be. This is not the level you're supposed to be. You are made to be far, 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 higher and greater than where you are today. God made you to be million times greater than where you are now. But I want you to call upon the name of the Lord, for it's never be too late. It's never too late. It's never too late. God that gave unto Hannah a Samuel that is greater than ten sons, that is mightier than ten sons, that we are still talking about him today. He is able to give you your heart desire, to give you greater things that no one can quantify, that no one can quantify, that no one can quantify. I want you to call upon the name of the Lord this night, that daddy, I have come. I did not come, oh Lord. To play game with my destiny. I did not come to make Bishop happy. I did not come to mark the register. But I have come, oh Lord, to pour my heart desire unto you. My Father and my God. That I cry unto you, oh Lord. That the Lord In the mighty name of Jesus, call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord. For Hannah says, in the Lord, my horn is lifted. Call upon the name of the Lord, that your horn will be lifted. That your horn will be lifted. That the horn of your ministry will be lifted. That the horn of your business will be lifted. In the mighty name of Jesus, that you'll be able to boast over your enemy, for the Lord will deliver you. In the mighty name of Jesus, O oh Lord, that the Lord do it, O oh Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, 
that it will call upon your holy name, that it will call upon your holy name. For there is no one holy like the Lord. There is no one beside you. There is no rock like our God. Tana says, there is no one like God. There is no one, there is no one beside him. There is no rock like our God who can make somebody that is beneath and raised and lifted to the high mountain. Daddy will give you all the glory. Thank you, Jesus, Lord. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. We are going to pray. She said in that verse 14, verse, verse 4, it says, The power of the warriors are broken. But those who stumble are harmed with strength. Those who stumble are harmed with strength. I want you to pray the prayer this night. That the law, any area I have been stumbling, that I keep on stumbling, I want to get up. Instead of standing to my feet, I am just stumbling, oh Lord. Father, Lord, I call for your strength, oh Lord. That is strength in me. That is strength in me. Call upon the name of the Lord for the strength. That is strength in me. That I will not stumble no more. That I will not stumble no more. That my business will not stumble no more. In my career, I will not stumble. In my marital life, I will not stumble. In the mighty name of Jesus. For you are the one that bowed the warriors, O oh Lord. That you broke the bowels of the warrior. But you made those that are strong, stumble and struggle to be strength, O oh Lord. Father, Lord, I receive your strength. I receive your strength. In this month of divine lifting, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, for I know you are lifting me now, not because of my power, not because of my might, not because of my righteousness, not because of my holiness, but because of your love and your mercy, O oh Lord. I, I call upon your holiness in the mighty name of Jesus, O oh Lord. That the Lord too in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, King of glory. Father, we worship you. Daddy, we had all your holiness. We give you all the glory, Lord. For you will strengthen us. For we will not struggle again. We will not stumble no more. For you will stand sure. We will stand strong in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. And then in verse 5, he said, Those who were full have hired themselves out of food. But those who were hungry are hungry no more. It's the one that feed them that are hungry. Those are the things that they have food, that they have everything in store. They get there and they find nothing. But the one that trusts in the law, then is hungry, God supply everything that he needs. And he says, see who has barren, has born seven children. But she who had many, many sons find a way. The Lord brings the Lord brings death and makes alive. He brings down to the grave and raises up. We are going to call upon the name of the Lord. See what Anna was saying, that even she has only one. That one that she has is mightier and greater than seven sons. I want you to call upon the name of the Lord, the Lord King of glory. I know the blessing you are blessing me this month. The blessing I am receiving this month, oh Lord, will be greater and mightier because it's from you. And only you that give blessings that, ha that has no sorrow, that has no nightmare with it, oh Lord. I want you to call upon the name of the Lord. For in God we depend, oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. And we know that we will not be ashamed. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus, we will not be ashamed. I want you to call upon the name of the Lord that he remove every reproaches in my life. Every reproaches, oh Lord. Remove them, oh Lord. You are the one that removed the reproach of Anna. You are the one that removed the reproach of Sarah, oh Lord. That did re remove every reproach in my life, in my business, oh Lord. In my career, in our ministry. That did remove every reproach, oh Lord. Everything that they see and they laugh at me. See, is that how they can achieve? Is that how they can do? All this year they've been doing it. But what can they show us for it? Almighty Father, this is my month, oh Lord. Month of lifting, oh Lord. That the Lord remove every reproach. Remove every reproach. Remove all reproaches, oh Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, Lord. 
We give you all the glory, Lord. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. God will remove your reproach. In the mighty name of Jesus, God will remove your reproach. In the mighty name of Jesus, God will remove your reproach. In the mighty name of Jesus, God will remove your reproach. In the mighty name of Jesus, God will remove your reproach. In the mighty name of Jesus, God will remove your reproach. In the mighty name of Jesus, thank you, Father Lord. In the book of Esther, chapter 2. Esther chapter 2 from verse 15. You know, Esther started her life not from the golden plate. Not from the golden plate. Instead of her growing up with her parents, the whole gone. She was an orphan. But she only had Mordecai, her uncle. But nevertheless, she was obedient to her uncle. I know. We have had it tonight. Obedience. When you obey the word of the Lord, everything falls in line. And I pray that God of heaven will make things fall in line for us this month in the name of Jesus. Despite our rough start, despite uncertainty in our life, and despite she was even among those that they carry captive into the strange land. What happened from verse 15? He says, when the tongue came, came for Esther, the young woman Mordecai had adopted the daughter of his uncle, Habiha, to go to the king. She asked for nothing other than what a guy, the king's Enoch, who was in charge of harem, suggested. And Esther won the favor of everyone who saw her. She was taken to King Caesar's in the royal residence in the tenth month, the month of Tebit, in the seventh year of his reign. Now the king was attracted to Esther more than to any of the other women, and she won his favor and approval more than any of other virgins. So he set a royal crown on her head and made her queen instead of Farsi. Praise the name of the Lord. You see, from her day, we know that she was adopted. She had the rough start. No certainty, nothing, no hope. But here, you see that when she was here, the Bible says she has for nothing. She was contented with what was suggested to her. And the word says she was found favor. Favor of everyone that saw her. We are going to pray that Lord, in this month of divine lifting, that the Lord, let me receive favor. Favor, favor. Favor of everyone that I will contact with in this month. That the favor, 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 favor from everyone that I will contact with, that will hear my voice, that will hear about my business, that will hear about my career, that will hear about my name, O oh Lord. Daddy, let me be favored. Daddy, let me be favored. Call upon the name of the Lord. It's God that shows favor. Not the amount of work, not the amount of energy, not your eloquence, not your connection, but it's God that gives favor. I want you to call upon the name of the Lord. In this month of February, anywhere I go, anywhere I am, oh Lord, that the let favor be attracted to me. Let me be favored, oh Lord. Let me be favored in the name of Jesus. Almighty Father, I receive favor, 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 favor in the mighty name of Jesus. My businesses receive favor in the mighty name of Jesus. My businesses receive favor. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. You didn't hear that verse 17. He says, now the king was attracted to Esther more than to any of other women. And she was, she won his favor and approval. We are going to pray. Pray for yourself. Pray for your business. Pray for your career. That your business will be more favored than any other business. Pray, pray that your home will be favored than any other. Than any other. 
Don't think you don't need favor of God. Don't say, I don't have business. You are working somewhere. Pray that that business where you are working, receive the favor of God more than any other place. That the joy will continue. That there will be increase and enlargement there. In the mighty name of Jesus, pray, pray, pray that God of heaven will make you more attractive. That the Lord, I call upon your holy name, that I be attracted and more favor than any of my counter counterparts in the mighty name of Jesus, oh Lord. That you, for you are the one that favor Hester, that make her more prevalable, more prevalable, more prevalable. That you make my businesses more prevalable, oh Lord. That you make my office be more prevalable, make my businesses more prevalable in the mighty name of Jesus. Favor, oh Lord, that make us more prevalable. In the mighty name of Jesus, that you will receive your favor in this month of lifting. In the mighty name of Jesus, O oh Lord, that I will receive the crown of joy, crown of favor, crown of victory. In the mighty name of Jesus, that everywhere I have been struggling, O oh Lord, that I will struggle no more. Imagine the one that was a slave. Now became the queen. Now became the one that seated with the king. That the one that is that is not suggesting things to king to do concerning his people. Almighty Father, that the let there be the fan lifting for me, O oh Lord, for my children, for every member of a tribe of ministry international. That we will sit among the princes. That we will sit among the one that will take decisions concerning this land. Concerning this state, concerning this city, in the mighty name of Jesus, O oh Lord, that it let there be the fine lifting, O oh Lord, the fine elevation that make us favor, that make us be the one that they will choose, O oh Lord, that will bring joy and solution to the situation of the things in this city, in this state, in this nation, in the mighty name of Jesus, O oh Lord, that they will call upon your holy name. In the mighty name of Jesus, thank you, Father, Lord. We give you all the glory. For in Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Another scenario is about Joseph. We all know Joseph. He grew among his adversaries. We all know this story. We know how his mother conceived him. He was born into adversary, into among his enemy, he grew up. But God knew what he's doing. And he chose Joseph for himself. But you see, through everything that Joseph was going through, he remained focused on God. He never looked at the distractions. He never allowed things of this world to distract him. That's why in Genesis chapter 41, Genesis 41 from verse 37. He says, The plan seems good to Pharaoh, and all is officious. So Pharaoh has them. Can we find anyone like this man? One in whom is the Spirit of God. Can we find anyone like this man? One in whom is the Spirit of God. We are going to call upon the name of the Lord. That is where I am walking. In the midst of people that we are doing the same business, oh Lord. That they cause a scenario that will make me say, ah, ah, this one is qualified. This one is the one that the spirit of the Lord is upon him. That he will take the, the, the in charge. I want you to call upon the name of the Lord. That is what the fine lifting is about. That is what the fine lifting can do. I want you to call upon the name of the Lord. That it cause a scenario. Cause a scenario, oh Lord. I'm on the Oh Lord, that we made them say we are looking for a man of God that they will come unto me and say, Can we find anyone like you? Can we find someone that can do this? Oh Lord, that they will say, This one, the spirit 
of God is upon him. He can undo him. He can be in charge. He can control. He can do everything that we want. That he caused it to happen, no Lord. In the state of Maryland, no Lord. That he caused it to happen, no Lord. In this city of Baltimore, that he caused it to happen, no Lord. That will look for me. That we know a woman of God is right there. That the Spirit of God upon her. She can do it. She is powerful. That is power of God in her. That shall be my portion. In this month of elevation, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord. Thank you, Almighty Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. See verse 39. Verse 39 says, Then Pharaoh said to Joseph, Since God has made all this known to you, there is no one so designed and wise as you. You shall be in charge of my palace, and all my people are submit to you, to your orders. Only with respect to the throne will I be greater than you. So Pharaoh said to Joseph, I hereby put you in charge of the whole land of Egypt. The Pharaoh took his signet ring from his finger and put it on Joseph's finger. He dressed him in robe of fine linen and put a gold chain around his neck. Who says because you are an immigrant that you cannot be in control of that business? That you look at yourself, I'm just a salesman. This is the month of divine lifting. This is the month of divine lifting. Favor with such you have will make you more prevalable. And they will do everything they need to do to make your feet established in this land. Because it's you that are qualified. You are the one that is qualified. You are the only one that can do it. You are the only one that can bring joy into that business. You are the only one that can restore peace in that city. You are the only one that can return the success back into that business. We are going to call upon the name of the Lord. For he says that since God has made all things known to you, there is no one so designed and wise as you. You are going to call upon the name of the Lord. That is the solution to the situation in my business. I don't know what your business is going through. I don't know what your state is going through. I don't know what this city is going through now. The solution to that situation, that you release them unto me. It's God that released that solution unto Joseph. That was why Joseph could go boldly to the king and says, I know what to do. Father, Lord, give me solution to the situation of all the DDA program in Maryland. That they will come unto me. That they will say, you are the one in charge. You are the one that can do it. You are the one that is qualified. You see, the king says that Joseph should be the head throughout the land. Throughout the land. Throughout the land. Joseph was just 30, 30 years old. He wasn't that old. But because God has put himself upon Joseph, everything that, that, that they need, God revealed it unto him. I want you to pray the same prayer for yourself tonight, O oh Lord. God of the fine lifting, O oh Lord. Daddy, make me solution of my generation. Make me solution, solution, solution of my generation. Daddy, reveal the solution of this city into me, O oh Lord. Daddy, release it into my hand, O oh Lord. Daddy, release, reveal the solution of the problem in Maryland unto me. That the Lord release, O oh Lord, the solution of the problem in Baltimore City is unto me, O oh Lord. That the Lord God Almighty, that I will say yes, this is the word the Lord wants to do, and this is the solution to the situation that is going on in the land now, that I'll be more prevalable, O oh Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, you are the one that elevated Joseph, oh Lord. That the elevators, in the mighty name of Jesus, you have brought us to Baltimore City for a purpose, oh Lord. That is the solution to every violence in this city, oh Lord. That they release us the solution, oh Lord. Reveal it unto us, oh Lord. That we will take control, that Jesus Christ will reign and rule in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Almighty Father. Glory and honor be to your holy name. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' 
mighty name we pray. Children of God, if you are not, if there is nothing in you, there is no way you can get the fan lifting. You don't get the fan lifting for nothing. There must be something in you that make you more prevalable, that make you more favorable, that make you go confidently, and you will go and say, yes, we need a solution. By themselves, they come unto you. They prostrate to God in your life. Because there is God in you. I want you to call upon the name of the Lord and pray that prayer again. Say, God, create scenario. If there is no scenario that needs solution, what would Joseph do? It was God that made the king have sleepless nights, that make him have that dream that he could not even remember, talk less of even give the interpretation. I want you to call upon the name of the law. The cause scenario in this city, in my business, in anywhere I go, that will make me more prevalable, that will make me the solution, oh Lord, that will lift me up, that I will no longer ordinary men in the land of America, that I will not be just, that I will no longer be just ordinary men. If you are see ordinary man, there is no way people can know you, not until you get to the point that you become solution, that people will be talking about you, that people will be looking for you. That is when people want to know which kind of God you serve, who is behind you, who is ruling you, what is pushing you, that you'll be able to tell them is Jesus Christ, in the spirit of the living God. Call upon the name of the Lord, children of God. Don't remain mediocre. Don't be complacent with your situation. I want you to call upon the name of the Lord. That the cause scenario, oh Lord. Cause scenario, among the DHA provider. Cause scenario in this city of Baltimore, oh Lord. That will make you, Jesus Christ, know him alive. That will come unto me. That we want to serve your God. We want your God to lead us. We want your Jesus Christ to be the guide of the city. In the mighty name of Jesus. That the this we ask for, oh Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord. Father, Lord, do it, O oh Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. That you do it, O oh Lord. Thank you, Almighty Father. We give you all the glory. We thank you, ancient of day. I want you to begin to thank God. I want you to begin to glorify the name of the Lord. That God will cause scenario that will make you, make you be favorable. It was the scenario of varsity that made them to be looking for another queen. It was the scenario of falsity that made the king say he need another queen. It was the scenario of the dream that made the king looking for a solution for his nation. I want you to call up, thank God, that God will cause that scenario in, the, in wherever you have, that will make them ask for God in your life that you are the world. You are the world because the power of God is in you. Because this is our month of divine lifting. And we must not remain ordinary man in the mighty name of Jesus. It doesn't matter whether you are established or not. It doesn't matter when you become solution. They themselves will bring the citizenship into your hand. That will say you are the citizen of the land. Because you know the solution. Begin to reign and rule on us. Begin to teach us what to do. Because they are looking for solution. Thank you, Almighty Father. We we'll praise your holy name, Lord. Thank you, King of glory. We we'll worship you, Father, Lord. There is no... Holy has the Lord. There is no beside there. Neither is there any wrong like our God.
the King of Kings. Clap to the Lord of Lords. Make a joyful noise to the King of Glory. Make a triumph noise. A victorious noise. To the everlasting Father. We are saying thank you, Jesus. with strength with strength the finger of God is coming upon you the finger of God is coming upon you no situation no circumstances in your life will remain usual let me tell you God is changing situation and circumstances to promotion for you it does not matter who started or how it started. No matter what you are going through, that is not from God. God is taking over now. Using it for his glory. We had it, he did it in the life of Joseph. We had it, he did it in the life of Esther. Even in the life of Daniel. God is turning things around for your sake. For your purpose. For your lifting. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, begin to give him glory. Because I can see everything turn around. I can hear, I can see it, I can see it, I can see it. I can see it, I can see it. Hey, Mili Moluma, la gazata, bobo, yeli, kasanda, baba, koku, guzi. Membro, goskita, yi, lamba, gaz. Zezezo, zo, zo, roba. Ah, I can see it, I can see it, I can feel it, I can feel it, I can feel it. I can feel it, I can hear it. Oh, Everything is turning around. Oh, my goodness. I can see, I can hear, and I can feel it. That nothing shall remain useful. From now, from this moment, from this moment, as God live it. Oh, I can feel somebody is like you have pain in this side of your body. Who's that person? Quickly, who's that person? Who's that person? Pay here. Who's that person? I can feel it. I can see it. I can hear it. Remo screaming the anointing of Marco Sita Ila Baka. I can see. Come, come, come. Bring the anointing for me here. Ma Sita Yura Ba Sata Ampa Koko Kori Kese. Rebobo Rebobo Sinda Ida Ha Sakoko. Me Yili Mo Yili Mawa Zanda Buazi Anointing. 
Mambro goes kentei le buburu baga zanta kata bring it bring anointio pour it on my hand. Ma kosete yili bokusinta i ma 